Hi, I'm Phil from the Soundproofing Store, and today we're talking about tech sound. Now, as you can see, I've got lots of interesting examples coming up, so stick around. Tech sound is a very useful and versatile acoustic membrane. It adds a lot of extra mass to a surface or structure to reduce airborne sound, while its unique viscoelastic quality allows it to dampen sound energy and vibration. Tech sound comes in various thicknesses from a two and a half millimeter, which adds around five kilograms per meter square, up to our most popular, which is the Tech Sound SY100, and this is 5.3 millimeters thick and adds 10 kilograms per meter square. Now, as a quick comparison, if we compare that to a layer of acoustic grade plasterboard, which is another very popular material within soundproofing, now this is adds around 12.8 kilograms per meter square of mass, but it's 15 millimeters thick. Whereas a layer of Tech Sound SY100 is adding almost as much mass at 10 kilograms, so a little bit less, but it's almost there, but at a third of the thickness at just five millimeters, which is really quite incredible. It's adding so much mass at such relative thin space loss. Tech Sound is available as self-adhesive or non-adhesive. Now, if you're installing on walls or in particular on a ceiling, I would definitely recommend the self-adhesive as this really does make installation a lot easier. Now, the easiest way to show one of the unique benefits of Tech Sound is to demonstrate. Now, over here you'll see I've got a symbol. Now, this is a very typical symbol from a drum kit obviously designed to be very loud, to be heard over a live band, so it makes a lot of noise. And the way that it works is, when you hit the cymbal and you create a, an impact, the metal of the cymbal vibrates and resonates, creating that, that ringing out sound. So just a quick example, here we go. And as you can see, the sound rings out for quite a, a long time with the symbol vibrating and resonating. Now, we take some tech sound, and this is the self-adhesive SY100. We easily peel the backing off the back, which reveals very, very sticky, very tacky self-adhesive backing. And we're just gonna stick a little bit on the back. We'll do a couple of pieces. Now, I'm not covering the whole symbol. It's literally just a couple of pieces on the back of the symbol. And now we're gonna give it another try. And as you can see, the metal isn't being allowed to resonate and vibrate because the tech sound is clinging to the surface and it's stopping that, that vibration and resonance from happening. Now, the reason why this is important is because the same principle can be used in situations like steel RSJs that are running through a structure or metal soil pipes and plumbing that run through a building. When vibration and sound travels through those pipes, the pipes resonate and allow the sound to just easily transfer through the whole structure of the building. Now, if you apply tech sound onto those pipes and those RSJs, it's gonna have the same effect. It stops the material from resonating and vibrating and stops that sound in its tracks. Now, these are examples of tech sound being used on its own, but just to be clear, it's only really those situations like RSJs and, and plumbing where we would really suggest to use tech sound alone. When it comes to soundproofing a surface, like a wall or a floor or a ceiling, tech sound on its own is not a solution, okay? And although it will maybe have some benefit, it will be minimal benefit. Now, it's a really great material but to be used as part of a solution. It's not a solution on its own. And this goes for most materials used within soundproofing. Now, just to explain, soundproofing is very complex, and to get good results, there are several things that we need to achieve. A really good example of this is baking a cake. Now, when you bake a cake, you need lots of different ingredients. Now, I'm no baker, 
but you need you know, flour, you've got eggs, you've got sugar, you've got lots of different things. And it's only when they're used in the right order, in the right amounts, and they're combined together, that you can then bake a cake. If you just use flour on its own, it doesn't matter how much flour you use, you can keep filling that bowl full of flour, but it will only ever be a bowl of flour. It's never going to be a cake. And this is exactly the same with soundproofing. There are brilliant materials that we use within soundproofing, like tech sound, mass-loaded vinyl, acoustic plasterboard. These are all brilliant ingredients, but on their own, they're only gonna do so much, okay? It's how we combine them together in the right way, in the right quantities, that you then create a soundproofing solution. Here at the soundproofing store, the most common use for Texan is part of our Reducto Clip system, which you can see here. And the way that we use the Texan is it sits between two layers of acoustic grade plasterboard. And we do this for a couple of reasons. First of all, we want to add as much mass to the system as possible to block that airborne sound. And adding the Texan gives us an extra 10 kilograms per meter square of mass while only taking up five millimeters of space. So it's a lot of mass for very little space loss. But at the same time, what we also find in soundproofing is that you want to use different types of mass because different materials, different types of mass react differently to different sound frequencies. And so by putting the tech sound, which is very different from the plasterboards, in between the plasterboards, it actually allows the plasterboards to perform at an even higher level. Another common way of using tech sound is to upgrade existing systems or other systems. Now take for example, when we're soundproofing a floor. Now, one of our most common solutions for soundproofing a floor is one of our sound mats. And here you can see a, a floor build up with our sound mat three plus on top. And that sound mat three plus is gonna add about 16 kilograms of mass per meter square, which is good. That's gonna give you a good result. But if you've got particularly high levels of sound and you want to upgrade that further, then before you install your Soundmat 3 Plus, we install a layer of TechSound SY100 and then put our Soundmat 3 Plus on top. Now, it's only raising the floor by an extra five millimeters, but again, it's boosted the mass from 16 kilograms per meter square to 26 kilograms per meter square, which is a brilliant upgrade. And in a very similar situation, if you're soundproofing, uh, for example, a wall, a stud wall or a brick wall, and you're thinking of using something like our Soundboard 4, going straight onto the wall, that's a good system. But as a further upgrade, you can apply a layer of Tech Sound SY100 onto the wall first, and the Soundboard 4 over the top, dampening more vibration and adding more mass. So Tech Sound is a brilliant, versatile material that can be used in lots of different ways uh, from reducing resonance in metal structures to upgrading the sound reduction of other systems. Now, as ever, if you've got any questions, if you need any advice, speak to an expert, give us a call.